Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So and in today's video, we're going to be talking about budget shotgun mics for vlogging. So it's great to see you back here on the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for more content similar to this one. Make sure to hit that notification bell to be the first one to know when a new video goes out. So I've been using the Rode Video Mic Pro for the longest time. I got mine back in 2013, this one right here, and it's lasted me such a long time. I used it as my on-camera microphone for weddings for six or seven years. And recently the cable on this Rode Video Mic Pro was a little bit loose, so it wasn't really working properly. And I actually had a 10 year warranty that I did not know about. So I was able to send this guy in for repair. So I was looking for a temporary budget shotgun mic solution while this one was getting repaired. I found two of them, the D80 D4 Duo video microphone and the Siren T microphone. The reason why I picked these two and this video is going to be a comparison of these two microphones is because they have dual capsules. So that means that unlike conventional shotgun microphones like this Rode one, they have a capsule not only at the front, but also at the back, which is in my opinion, a very, very useful thing to have, especially if you need a vlogging mic. If you're vlogging with a regular shotgun mic with just one capsule, then you have the microphone right here right facing you so you'll be talking to the camera you'll be vlogging that way but what if you wanted to point at something that you're talking about then you can't really speak to the camera because your mic is facing whatever you're talking about so you will have to flip this around and have the microphone point at you but what if something else happens and you want to capture the sound right in front of you then you have to go ahead again and flip this back. And by then, whatever was happening in front of the cameras already happened, so you didn't get to capture the sound of that. These two microphones that I found, I, I purchased for myself, so this video is not sponsored by anybody, and these are my unbiased thoughts of these microphones. Compared to the Rode Video Mic Pro, this is the older version, keep that in mind, these two microphones are actually a lot smaller. All right, this is the Sir Siren T-Mic, Siren or Siren, and this is the D80 V4. So a lot smaller compared to this one. Another pro that I find from these microphones as opposed to this one is that this one takes a square full volt battery and these ones take no battery. So that way when you turn on your camera and you forget to turn on your mic, you won't miss capturing audio of whatever's happening. And this has happened to me a couple of times, maybe more than a couple of times when I've been filming weddings and I needed to capture action sound of whatever was happening, just a scratch audio. And I had forgotten to turn on this microphone. With these, I wouldn't have that problem because they're always on as long as your camera is turned on and they are plugged into your camera. First, let's get started to see what comes in the box on the D80 D4 and then what's in the box in the Siren T. So the D80 D4 dual microphone come with a shock mount with a cold shoe adapter to your camera and that adapter also has a quarter inch thread which I believe has an adapter as well so you can screw that if you needed a larger thread. It also comes with this cable which is detachable and this goes in the output of the microphone and it will go back into your camera. It also comes with these two dead cats that you can put at the front and at the back of your microphone. And one slightly smaller because the smaller one is supposed to go to the back of the microphone, which is the mic that faces you, and the other one to the front of the microphone, the one that faces away from you. So this microphone has two cardioid capsules, the front and the back, and it's good at capturing sound directly in front of the mic, as well as a little bit on the side, but not if you're behind it. And another thing about these microphones is that you have to be within arm's reach to get good sounding audio. Anything further away from that is going to sound a little bit far and the quality is going to decrease. There is only one switch on this microphone and this is the switch that shifts the microphone from capturing audio only at the front to capturing audio both at the front and at the back. Unfortunately, you cannot just select it to capture audio from the back capsule. It has to be either just the front or both front and back. So when you switch it to the dual switch to capture audio from both front and back, it creates a mono channel for the front one and the back one. And all you have to do in post is just to duplicate the audio signal of whichever channel you want it to use. When you have it at the front, it, it creates a stereo file and you don't have to do anything about it because it's the sound from just the one mic. This D80 microphone is actually very solidly built. It's made of metal and it feels very sturdy. It also has another 3.5 mil input, and this is if you wanted to plug in a lavalier mic. Let's look at what comes in the Siren T microphone. So it comes with a little pouch, which is really handy. It comes with two foam screens, unlike the D80 D4 that doesn't have foam screens. 
It also has two dead cats. It has this little shock mount as well. But unlike the DD one, you can only attach quarter inch threads, not three eighths. The shock mount also has a cold shoe, which you can just put on the top of your camera. One thing that I noticed about the Siren T microphone is that the front and the back capsule seem to be of the same size, unlike the DAD D4. So I'm guessing that it wouldn't really matter which side's pointing to the front and which one to the back. The cable, it's also coiled, but unlike the DAD's cable, the cable cannot be detached. And that could be a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. And if you don't wanna worry about forgetting the cable at home, then I guess it's a good thing that it's already attached. I do have to say that the build quality of this siren mic is actually sturdy as well. It's made of metal and it's similar quality to that of the DAD one. The only thing is that the shock mount is not as sturdy, in my opinion, as a DD one. This microphone also has a switch where you can choose to just use the microphone at the front or switch it to use both microphones, the front and the back. This Siren mic also has a cardioid pickup pattern similar to that of the DD D4. Another feature that this Siren microphone has that is not in the DD D4 is that it is equipped for mobile vlogging. So it comes with a TRRS cable and you can see that by the three bands on the 3.5 mil input. That is going to allow you to plug this directly into a phone and start using this as a mic for your cell phone. If you have an iPhone, all you need to do is just get one of these lightning to 3.5 mil adapters. So you can plug this in like this and this will go into your iPhone. But if you wanna use this as a shotgun mic for your phone, you're going to need another mount because there's no way you can mount this on your phone without getting a case or a mount that can take a cold shoe or maybe a 3.8 thread. You're going to have to switch between using this on a DSLR or mirrorless camera to switching it to a phone. So in terms of pricing, these two microphones are considered budget. The DD one is about $100 US and the Siren T mic is about $40 depending where you're buying it from. As usual, I'll be leaving links in the description below if you wanna check these mics out. So now let's jump into some sound tests so you can hear what these sound like. So right now I have the UDT4 with only the front capsule on. And this camera right here is about an arm's length from me, which is the typical distance if you're holding your camera in front of you, if you were vlogging. I'm also keeping the volume level on this camera the same for all of these tests. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the seniors men national team of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. So now let's move about two arms length away from this microphone. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the seniors men national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. So the UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. I think I'm gonna memorize this by the end of this video. So right now I'm using the back capsule of this camera and let's see what that sounds like. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. So the UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. All right, so now just for fun, I'm also adding my video mic pro by Rode. This is the older version, so this version is not in the market anymore. There's a newer version, so the sounds may vary. But this one at the time that I bought it was about $300. So it's a little bit more expensive than the other budget options that I just show you. This one also only has a front facing microphone, but this is what this one sounds like at about an arm's length so you can compare the sound quality. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. So the UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition 
contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. So the UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. So the UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. The UEFA European Football Championship is the primary association football competition contested by the senior men's national teams of the members of the Union of European Football Associations. I think both of these microphones sound actually pretty good for the price. As long as you're within an arm's length of the microphone, either front or back, you should be able to get good sounding audio. If you could pay a little bit more, I would go with the DAD D4 because it gives you the option of attaching a wireless lap as well. And DAD is a very reputable audio company. But if you are on a budget, the Siren sounds pretty good for just 40 bucks. And if you vlog a lot on your phone, then the Siren T mic is the one to go with. So that's it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments below what is the microphone that you are currently using. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, it will be greatly appreciated. And here are a couple videos that you could watch next. And I'll see you next time.